Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another edition of Eric's Corner with the word of the not so wise. Um, I'm going to do another uh, episode about um, fellow YouTubers. Well, I'm going to say fellow YouTuber because I don't really know if I can truly call myself one. But this is somebody who came across my news feed a while ago and uh, has a really good channel. Um, I feel he's really inspirational. I mean, I've done a few of these episodes about other YouTubers. They've never really been positive, but uh, I got nothing to really bad to say about this guy. Um, he's somebody who I personally would as, uh, aspire to have a channel like. Um, but uh, without further ado, Mr. John Dorsey, welcome to the show. That's his thing. He does intros like that. So, um, so his uh, channel um, videos came across my uh, Facebook news feed. And it's what he does. He tracks down um, uh, fitness frauds. Now, I... Uh, only a couple of years ago, got back on Facebook after being Facebook clean for almost two years. And um, I, I, something I notice a lot of, just a lot of people doing very basic dumb workouts with spandex shoved up their ass and, act, and thinking that there's some kind of actual accredited uh, fitness coach. Um, now this guy, John, is an absolute genius with Photoshop. Uh, so basically what he does, he finds people that are saying, oh, hey, you can get a body like mine following my program, looks at their pictures and finds out that they've expanded their butt or made their waist smaller, etc. which I feel like is a very positive thing to uh, society. Like something he mentioned, like this is very predatory because we got people that are trying very hard to get into shape, looking for help from somebody. And I was pretty sick of it because I was like, well, what is, why are you showing me all these stupid workouts that I don't, didn't work, I don't work, or maybe they do, but oh, do this in 15 minutes a day, which is just a complete lie. I mean, you can't spend 15 hours a week in the gym and act like doing these couple little workouts in a couple minutes a day is going to do anything. But um, he really broke it down Barney style. and was just like, well, here's how I draw these lines to see that things in the background have been, um, have been uh, altered and bent around. Um, I figure he's got some kind of really high degree in uh, computer science or something. This is clearly a very educated person. And as I kept watching his videos, um, I see him start going after really creepy people. The dude from uh, 3C gym or whatever hit a camera in a bathroom um, and, and stuff like that. And I see him running background checks and uh, it's like, oh, okay, well, this guy's got a guy on the inside or, or something he's going to for background checks. Maybe it's Googleable, maybe it isn't, but he, being he's pretty well educated, he obviously is finding access to it. Um, <clears throat> and it's, it's really funny because somebody will go after him because that's what you do when you disagree with somebody's opinion. You try to find an avenue to discredit them, which, I mean, sometimes is fine, but um, somebody's like, oh, do you even go to the gym, bro? Like, I mean, he's spotting, spotting frauds um, spotting frauds. I mean, you don't really have to go to a gym to point out when somebody is a fraud and scamming people out of their money. And, uh, the dude, every time somebody comes after him, it's, he could not possibly have a, a bigger flex to go in their face and flex. He does as he should, but he's like, Oh, well, here's me, uh, dumbbell pressing 250 pounds, you know, each arm or whatever it was while reading a page from Harry Potter. I'm like, okay, okay. I like this guy. And, you know, the, the more I kept watching, um, the more he just kind of gained backing to, to what he was talking about. Um, I, uh, you know, and somebody saying, oh, well, you don't even go to the gym, bro. And it's like, well, it doesn't take, well, God damn, look at his profile. He clearly goes to the gym. In about two seconds, you can find that out. But not only does he go to the gym, he is an Olympic caliber power lifter and a coach and a bodybuilding coach. And all kinds of stuff. Got his own line of pre-workout. All kinds of good stuff. Um, um, so that's that's absolutely incredible. So as as it went on, you know, I mentioned he was uh, um, doing background checks on people. Well, one lady came after him because he pointed out that a a girl who happened to be black and he smoked dozens of people, regardless of ethnicity, males, females, everything. And so she sends him a voice text, and she's eating something. Oh, how dare you! Mm go after this beautiful black lady don't you oh my god it was absolutely fucking disgusting like regardless oh i'll bet you didn't even you know i'm gonna stop with the smacking because that's gross you get the idea oh i'll bet you didn't even go to go to college or high school i bet you dropped out in third grade oh yeah well here's my um degree certificate from university of pittsburgh school of law uh it, on it says juris doctor which i had to 
look up. I guess it's like the highest accolade you can have as an attorney. So he's a licensed attorney, hence why he's probably good at background checking. Um, I'm guessing he probably had something in uh, computer forensics or, or something. I, I, or something. I mean, I see, I saw one video where he helped find a missing child. Doesn't ask for anything in return. Just did it and with his help found her uh, pretty, it seemed like a pretty easy um, with him being who he wa was and everything. Um, so yeah, don't, don't, don't take him on. You're, you're going to absolutely lose. Um, the, you know, somebody wrote him as like, oh, well, what are your thoughts in Ukraine? Well, why aren't you posting something about it? Do you think you're going to lose followers? Just ask, don't be a snide cunt because he's like, well, what about these other seven incursions over the planet that nobody has any interest in? Like, you know, just so virtuous when it comes to this one little thing that all of our interest is drawn to. So you're gonna ask an influencer or something, just be polite and just ask politely. Don't, don't try to make some backhanded compliment. It's absolutely freaking stupid, but, um, um, but yeah, he's running a charity. He's got lines of pre-workout. He had a friend that passed away and a portion of what he gets from a pre-workout. He donates to a charity in his buddy's name, which is really cool and really noble. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Um, um, Uh, there was another, uh, you know, wannabe influencer, I, I guess I could call him. Um, he's like, well, and he's talking about you know, John Dorsey and he says, well, we got to stop being anti-influencer influencer. Okay. First of all, you're British. Nobody gives a fuck what you think, <clears throat> but he's not anti-influencer. He's anti-fraud and scammer. I don't really see how he's the asshole here. And like, like he mentioned, and I'm reinforcing it's predatory. Um, so make sure to look up somebody's credentials and find out who they are before you start following their workout advice because I don't understand why every girl who goes to a gym with a camera, you know, crams a pair of spandex up her ass and has her tits hanging out thinking that they have something better to say than the next person. Um, you know, I mean, there's, there's just, oh my God, there's just way too much of all that going on the internet in general. So, you know, and John is, is, is calling out the frauds, which is great. And uh, he, I see some where he does follow-ups like on the, the triple C uh, fitness or whatever. I'm like, oh, follow-up. Oh, he's about to destroy somebody and it's going to be freaking awesome. So those ones, I definitely uh, have kind of one of those grab, grab the popcorn uh, moments. Um, but uh, I haven't actually seen John do any... Uh, interviews or anything. So, uh, John, see, being that I've mentioned pretty much anybody I mentioned on my show, um, sometimes I'm inviting people on to defend themselves. Well, I'm, you know, totally on board with, uh, Mr. Goob. I, I guess that's his nickname. Uh, if you want to come on my show for a Q and a, uh, I mean, if it's, you know, I mean, I'm, my show definitely has nowhere near the gravity. It doesn't have a 10th of a percent of the gravity that your show does. Maybe it's not worth your time. That's totally fine. Um, or if you don't even have a chance to watch this video, no offense taken. You're a busy man. Um, got other stuff to do. Um, I, I admire the things you do. Like I said, I mean, doing the charity events and doing all kinds of good things, setting a very good example for other people. Um, but, you know, if you want, you can come sit right here next to me. I'd love to have you. I know normally I would uh, fly you here and pay for a hotel and all that. Well, I mean, I got a camper you can stay in. Uh, you know, I mean, in terms of money for stuff like that, I, I don't have it. Um, but you know, come up here to Alaska. Me, me and my old man will take you fishing. Come catch a come catch a king salmon, and uh, you know I should be around this summer. Um, be great and to hear from you. If not, no big deal. Um, so anyway, that's my. I think I covered everything. Uh, that's my spiel on a, a YouTuber that I personally admire. So John, uh, maybe it means something to you. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, big shout out. Please keep doing what you're doing. I admire your channel, and. Um, I guess that's about it. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day.